Colonel, what an honour it is to be received in, in your wonderful commandeered office. <laughs> <laughs> I have taken the liberty of bringing a few simple, worthless gifts for you. A bottle of Chateau Lafitte 37, <laughs> some rather good cigars, which I was keeping until after the war was over, but as you were doing so well, I thought you might as well have them now. <laughs> some cheese, a little cognac, uh, Napoleon, of course, and a small bottle of perfume for your assistant. Thank you very much, but I don't wear it. <laughs> Not you. This assistant, this beautiful young lady, this fine example of German womanhood. Oh, thank you. Now, what can I do for you, Colonel? We just want you to answer a few questions. Will there be anything else, Colonel? <clears throat> Will there be anything else, Hans? Uh, yes, Colonel. We shall require a pair of pliers and some rubber hose. Oh, no, not the pliers and the rubber hose. No, I will tell you everything I know. It is so we can get the gas poker working. Not the gas poker! <laughs> I will tell you everything I don't know. Sit down, down Rene. <laughs> we have a serious problem. Yes, well, I don't think it's as serious as my problem. <laughs> we know you have been hiding British airmen and helping them to escape. Well, I know you know that, Colonel, but may I remind you that on your behalf, I am also hiding a valuable old painting which you hope to sell after the war. One or? <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention a priceless cuckoo clock. Two one? <laughs> <laughs> no, Hans, no score. Because we're going to hand that painting to the Gestapo. And then they will leave us in peace. Because we will hand you over as well. Oh, but, Colonel, that painting was to be your pension after the war. With it, you could have bought your own little Berthes garden in the mountains. <laughs> if you hand it over, you will have nothing. And if you hand me over, well, well the cafe will not be the same without jolly, jovial, generous Rene. <laughs> <laughs> the life and soul of any party. <laughs> It is very sad, René, that there is no other course open to us. But we've enjoyed your hospitality. Yes, I had noticed. <laughs> we've always regarded you as a friend. Well, I, I look upon you in the same way, Colonel. And the captain, and the young lady out there with the big... We all think of her as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing in the world we want is for you to suffer at the hands of the Gestapo. Well, you are most considerate, Colonel. So, I am going to give you this ring. Inside is a pill. Flush <laughs> it between your teeth. And in one and a half seconds, you shall be like a dead beetle. <laughs> I don't think I shall ever forget your kindness, Colonel. Perhaps Rene would like to give his wife one. Even a Frenchman cannot think of that sort of thing at a time like this. <laughs> Here, take it. <clears throat> Colonel, a, a little idea is running around in my brain. How would it be if we let the Gestapo find a copy of the painting? You have a copy of the painting? No, no, but perhaps one could be made by, a, well, let us say, a forger. You know a forger? Well, in my business, you meet all sorts. Mind you, he would want paying. How much? Well, money means so very little in these hard times, but perhaps a bottle of Chateau Lafitte 37 and some cigars and a little cognac. <laughs> What about the cheese? You may keep the cheese. <laughs> we could use it to stuff in our ears when his wife sings in the cafe. 